episode ngayon ay tatalakayin natin ang kadalasang tanong ng mga taong gustong kumuha ng RMA board exam. So, kung sila ba ay qualified na mag-take ng RMA board exam. So, ating sasagutin yan sa pamamagitan ng pagsangguti sa batas na nauukol sa Electrical Engineering Practice sa Pilipinas at yun ay ang RA 7920. So, Section 18 ng RA 7920, Qualifications of Applicants for Registered Master Electrician Examination. So, any person applying for the admission to the Registered Master Electrician Examination as herein provided shall establish to the satisfaction of the board that on or before the date of the examination he possess the following qualification a he is a citizen of the philippines b he is at least 18 years of age c he is of good reputation with high moral values and d he has not been finally convicted by court of any offense involving moral torpitude And the last one, he has any of the following technical backgrounds. So first, he must be or he has at least completed three years of five-year Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering or BSEE program or a three-year course in Electrical Engineering Technology from an engineering school recognized by the Philippine government and in addition has a subsequent specific record of one-year practice in electrical wiring and installation, operation and maintenance of utilization devices and equipment. Second option, he, has, uh, he is a graduate or has, uh, has graduated from a two-year electrician course of instruction from a vocational or trade school recognized by the Philippine government and in addition has at least two years of apprenticeship after completion of the course of instruction on electrical installation, operation, and maintenance of utilization devices and equipment or has completed a one-year electrician course of instruction from a vocational school recognized by the Philippine government and in addition has three years of apprenticeship after completion of the course of instruction electrical installation operation and maintenance of utilization devices and equipment and the last option he has completed a four-year high school education or its equivalent and in addition has a secret specific record of at least five years of apprenticeship in electrical wiring installation operation and maintenance of utilization devices and equipment So, those are o yun ang mga requirements or mga qualification ng mag-take ng RMA board exam. So, ang tanong ngayon, kung babalikan natin, saan ka ba may check sa mga ito? So, if ikaw ay isang Pilipino, check. Kung ikaw ay hindi bababa sa 18 years old, check. Kung ikaw ay may mabuting asal, check kung ikaw ay kailan may hindi na kubikto ng anumang krimen sa Supreme Court o sa anumang mababang hukuman kung wala, so check tapos dapat may technical background ka or yung education ay at least 3 years sa BSEE at may 1 year experience so kung ikaw to, check so ang tanong ngayon, paano if hindi ako BSEE ah, siguro mga 2 years experience lang no So, maraming dito ka. So, graduated 2 years electrician course. So, kung nyari, graduate ka ng 2 years electrician course. So, dapat may 2 years ka din na experience. Pagkatapos mong mag-graduate o gumaduate sa 2 years electrician score. Electrician course pala. Electrician score. Electrician course. Nakalito ko itong transition na pagkatapos mong graduate ng 2 years electrician course. So, kasi nakasabi to, yung experience mo is dapat apprenticeship 
after completion. So, after completion ng iyong kurso. Kung sakaling one year lang na electrician's course. So, dapat three years din. So, may three years ka na experience pagkatapos mong matapos ang iyong kurso. Paano naman kung wala ka, kahit hindi, ah, pala hindi ka nakapag-aral ng electrician's course o PBSBE, sa ka high school graduate. So, dito ka mo for sa pangapat. Four-year high school education or its equivalent. So, yung mga ALS, full day yun. Pero, dapat, mayroon ka din five years of apprenticeship na related din sa electrical. So, yun ang mga dapat mong na check So, kapag check ka doon, so, pwede kang mag-take ng RME board exam. So, paano naman ngayon kung ikaw ay, kunyari, nursing graduate ka, no? So, degree holder ka ng nursing, o di kaya may uh, isa ka talagang licensed nurse, no? Pero, sa inyong trabaho, mas, uh, mas may opportunity na pagtrabaho ka ng electrical. So, meron ka ng experience. O, ano mayayari ngayon? So, dapat, kasi yung nursing na course, o yung BS Uh, nursing is hindi yan electrical engineering course at hindi yan electrician's course. Hindi yan ngayon related sa electrical. So, dito ka bababa sa high school graduate. So, kasi high school graduate ka, so dapat nakatapos ka ng 5 years. Ay, nakatapos ka ng 5 years. Meron kang 5 years na experience related in electrical. So, kunyari, electronics, no? So, BSSE or ele associate uh, electronics technician. So, hindi ka naman matatawag na electrician yan. Diba? At hindi ka matatawag na electrical engineer, electrical engineering graduate. So, babalik ka pa rin sa high school graduate at kailangan mo pa rin ng 5 uh, uh, years experience. So, yun po. Yun po ang mga kailangan nyo na-check para po maging qualified kayo na mag-take ng RME board exam. So, dadagdaga na natin ang konti. So, kung nakita mo na qualified ka na, so, ano-ano ngayon ang dapat mong pag-aralan? So, dito tayo sa scope of examination. So, ang RME uh, board exam ay may dalawang subject. So, ang unang subject niyan is yung technical subject. Ako saan, ang mga topic ay ito, Ohm's Law, Electrical Machines at Control Equipment, Electrical Components, Maintenance and Repair of Electrical Equipment and Machineries, Test, at test Equipment at ang RE720 o ng Electrical Engineering Law. So, maaari din magdagdag ang PRC ng mga subject o ang board ng electrical engineer mga subject na, kaya na, na pwede na idagdag habang uh, during the uh, paggawa ng mga exa, uh, na exam. Ang pangalawa naman ay ang Philippine Electrical Code. So, parts 1 and 2. So, general requirements yan ay installation. So, what is installation? Approved wiring methods types of wiring sa materials and devices. So, pag-install ng switchboards at mounting boards at hazardous locations, mga wiring diagrams, mga drawing symbols, at maaari din magdagdag ng mga related subjects sa PEC, ang PRC o ang board ng electrical engineers. No? So, yun po ang dalawa. So, technical subjects at PEC ang dapat mong pag-aaral at yun po ang mga topic or mga uh, mga dapat yun din pag-aaralan mo sa loob ng bawat subject na yun. Okay. So, ang buong exam ay matatapos ng isang araw. So, one eight-hour day. So, ang sa umaga ay sa technical subject. Ang sa hapon ay sa Philippine Electrical Code. So, ang iyong, ang, ang iyong grade ay magiging 50%. 50%. So, 50% ng iyong total score ay uh, total percentage ay kukunin sa technical subject at 50% ng iyong total naman ay kukunin
din sa Philippine Medical Code. So, kailangan kakakuha ka na 70% para ikaw ay pumasa at dapat wala kang subject sa pag-isang doon, wala ang magpo-fall sa or magiging below sa 50%. So, mga requirements sa pag-retake ng exam. So, dapat, una, birth certificate, kung ikaw ay married, marriage contract, at may TOR na may nakalagay na for board exam purposes. So, ito po ang summary. So, pag 3 years, 1 year experience, pag 2 year education, first 2 year experience, pag 1 year, 3 years experience, pag high school graduate, automatic 5 year experience. Dapat din, yung dahil mo ulit yung TOR mo or high school diploma, Certificate of Employment on your employer, Certificate of Experience affirmado ng REE or RNE kung saan ang kanyang registration is or naging engineer sila bago ka pa man nakapagsimula sa iyong experience. Kung sakaling ang um, ipipirma ng iyong Certificate of Experience is um, kung sakaling ikaw man ay nagsimula matabaho ng 2013, so dapat ang pipirma ng inyong certificate of experience na engineer na REE or RNE dapat naging REE siya or RNE bago pa man mag 2013 or kung sakali mag 2012. So, ang itsura po ng certificate ng experience ay ganito po. So, ito po ang download sa website ng PRC. So, prc.gov.ph So, dapat itong pinapan. Dito po ilalagay ang pangalan ng uh, engineer ng RE or RNE ang kanyang registration number kung kailan ito i-issue at dapat din ito ay ipasworn o ipan, ipanotarize sa isang abogado so ang lahat ng ito ay dadalhin nyo sa PRC at so PRC kung kayo ay mag apply ng RNE board exam so good luck sa inyong lahat sa inyong um, journey na maging registered master electrician. So, sa mga susunod na video ay magsisimula tayo sa ating review kung saan magtatakol ako ng mga iba't ibang uh, topic. No? So, sana nga lang subotahin ito yung channel na ito sa pagsasus- pagsasubscribe at sana sakali man kayo ay magtitake na at sana kayo ay matulungan ito na makapasa sa inyong RNA board exam. So, sa muli, ito si D1 para sa 2D engineering learning.